you can basically eliminate failure when you approach your business this way. It's how I built a six figure business before I left my nine to five, starting with this one thing that can make or break your chances. I know how tempting it is to want to march into your boss's office and quit. But the problem is we all have family and responsibilities. I know Falco would be very upset if he stopped getting his weekly bully sticks from the fancy pet store. But before you get discouraged, let me remind you of your surprising advantage. It's what will make your business more successful once you leave your nine to five. Take the passionate employee of this small coffee bean store. Howard Schultz was so inspired by Italian coffee culture that he pitched this new kind of coffee experience. High quality espresso drinks in a cozy environment. But his bosses didn't think people would just buy a single cup of coffee when they could buy a whole bag of beans. What happened next probably made his bosses kick themselves. Schultz started a new business with his own vision. Turns out people loved it. That's how, after just a few years, he bought the business from his former bosses and it turned into the global chain we know today, Starbucks. But it wouldn't have succeeded if Schultz hadn't done this one step, which is best explained by Tetris. In the game, your goal is to build a base of solid shapes. This way you have a better chance of winning. That's what Schultz was doing with his other coffee shop. By laying the groundwork, he stumbled upon the most important thing you can do for your business. He figured out what people liked. But I know it's hard to compare your business to a multi-billion dollar company when you're still grinding away in your nine to five. The good news? This is actually the edge you have over entrepreneurs who have already left their jobs. It's how I built my business to six figures before I left my job. I spent that time figuring out what my ideal client looked like, her frustrations, desires, income, hobbies, because your business is a two player game. You are player one, which is a very important piece. Your business wouldn't exist without you, but you can't play that game by yourself. You also need player two. That's the person you're serving. It's why your business exists. The cool thing is you get to know your player too, without the pressure of having to support your family on your business revenue alone. However, the next piece of this puzzle is something you've probably struggled with already. You come home from work, change into comfy clothes and collapse on the couch. You have had a day. But you can't even savor this moment of rest. Swirling in your head are the hundreds of to-dos you still have to complete for your own business. When I was still working my nine to five, I remember feeling so overwhelmed. How am I gonna get my business off the ground when I have so little time to commit to it every day? That's when I discovered this next step that can make your life so much simpler. It's what led Bill Gates to create some of his most famous innovations like Internet Explorer. Twice a year, he disappears into the woods. No internet, no email, no phone. Then he spends time reading pitches from employees and thinking about how to improve his business. But you don't have to retreat into the woods to experience this. For example, when I came home from my job, even if I just had 20 minutes to spare, I would retreat to my desk. I put my phone in another room and spent those 20 minutes doing just one important task for my business. It's like playing Tetris. You can't look away from the falling blocks or else you're going to lose the game. In fact, research shows that when you pair two things like your desk and focused work, your mind is trained to continue doing that in the future. By creating a dedicated workspace for yourself, you can produce quality work even in the small amounts of time that you can carve out. But there's something you might be doing that could derail any progress you're currently making. Unfortunately, I didn't know about this when I started my first business, which led to making this mistake. I'm sitting in front of my computer trying to write an email newsletter. An hour goes by, two hours, three hours. I've written nothing good. Finally, I type out, I don't know what to say, but I need to send you an email, so here we go. It was not my finest moment. And if you create content for your business, you've probably experienced the pain of that creation too. But your business lives or dies on your ability to create content consistently and sustainably. Otherwise, you burn out. That truth was weighing on me as I looked at my awful three-hour email. 
Turns out, the answer can also be found in Tetris. When the game begins, the blocks move slowly. This gives you plenty of time to position them perfectly to fit the rope. But if you've ever played it, you know that heart pounding thing that happens as the game goes on. The blocks start moving faster. This is what blows my mind. The quicker the pace, the faster you're able to put those blocks into place. I realized I needed to give myself a time limit on my email writing. So I decided no matter what the email says, I will wrap it up after one hour. Not gonna lie, it wasn't easy. It's so tempting to keep on going after you hit that limit. But you've gotta set the stakes high for yourself because the future of your business depends on your self-discipline. Now, my daily newsletters drive seven figures in sales every year. The best part? They usually take me less than 30 minutes a day to write. There's an invaluable lesson to be learned here, and it's something you can apply to your business. You are capable of moving the blocks of your business faster if you give yourself strict time limits. But this isn't helpful if what you're working on isn't the best use of your time. It's something that most coaches miss. Ask yourself, why do most people hire coaches? You might say, they wanna know what I know. But the truth is, they could find most of the information you know somewhere online. To build your business strong enough to leave your nine to five, you gotta know what your actual product is. Spoiler alert, it's not your coaching package. Think about it this way. A client comes to you at point A. They want your help getting to point Z. It's like our favorite game. There are a million ways to position the blocks. You could watch 40 different games and they would all play out differently. The differentiator is who is playing the game. With Coach Sulting, it's the same thing. You are getting your client from A to Z. But the way you package that offer is your actual product. Your stories, perspective, and A to Z map is the way you set yourself apart from other coaches. Now, you might be thinking, I've got my offer, I've got my audience nailed down, it's time to quit my job. <laughs> right, Louisa? Let me bring you in on a little secret. No matter how good your strategies are, your growth will always be limited by this one thing if you don't learn how to manage it. It's what almost stopped Richard Branson from starting his dream business. He's meeting with a potential investor. The problem? Branson has no experience in this industry. That's when he does something we're told not to do. He fakes it. He invents a fake recording studio and lies about having other artists signed to his label. That's how the founder of Virgin Records started a multi-billion dollar business. Now, I am not telling you to go out there and lie about your resume, no. But there is a takeaway that can help you build your dream business. For example, when I started my first business, I had a lot of self-doubt. It's normal, especially when you're doing something so far outside your comfort zone. The solution can be found by sitting down to play a rousing game of Tetris. Say you press start but you're filled with anxiety. Your fingers are shaking. With so much instability, you're bound to make mistakes. The key is to play that game with a sense of peace. You wanna view that end goal before you even begin. That's how you can achieve unimaginable success in your business. Because the truth is, we get our confidence from proof. If you don't have any proof of your own yet, stretch it. Surround yourself with evidence of success from other people. That looks like joining email lists and subscribing to YouTube channels of people who are crushing it. Soon enough, that proof is going to include you too. But to be honest, doing this next thing was the most important piece of the puzzle for me. First, sit down and ask yourself, if I want to replace my nine to five with this business, what do I need to charge? Take the time I sold my very first coaching package. I'd been providing free advertising advice to a woman I'd met in a Facebook group. In return, she helped me with market research. But suddenly, out of the blue, she says, I wanna hire you. I wasn't even looking to charge for my services yet. There wasn't that much information back then about what the right price was either. But I calculated what my time was worth based on my salary and nervously quoted her $5,000. What she said shocked me. I figured it'd be somewhere around there. But don't worry if your first sale isn't at that level yet. It's like clearing a row in Tetris. You need the right fit to make it work. My first client was the perfect fit. 
but my next 30 potential clients, they all heard the price and said, no way. Turns out the price I was charging was pretty high for a beginner coach. The key to leaving your nine to five faster is to learn when to position your pricing to get that right fit. Ask yourself, what's the lowest price I can offer without resenting my clients and my life? Then after you get results and grow your reputation, you can raise your price and never have to drop it again. High five to that. But you might worry you're too boring to attract the best clients. That's why in this next video, we go over the formula for turning your personality and interests, whatever they are, into a seven figure business. It's how this introverted nerdy gal built a multi-million dollar company. You'll see how everything you are and have right now is more than enough to build the business of your dreams.